Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. The ma 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 Cutting straight to the chase. Um, and I'm not talking Paw Patrol. Big up all the fathers and mothers that know. Anyway, let's get into this. So this was quite a special one. The, the images released and everyone was like, no, I'm not sure, I don't care. Um, don't like them. So these are the Pata collaboration. Actually, let me read exactly what it says on the box. So this is the... Um, Air Jordan 7 Retro Shouts out to Country the Big Wherever you are, wherever you may be So this is the Retro um, Let's give you a close up of the tag Pata collaboration So boy, like Pata are moving So the box, white box, Jumpman As you saw from before You've got the actual trainer on the front of the box and here they are in the flesh. So this is, is special. Um, the reason why it's special is that this is the first Air Jordan collaboration with a European company. Right, just let that sink in. When everybody was talking about, oh no, these are dead and blah, blah, blah. When you think about what Patter have done in regards to the Air Max 1 and then some of the other silhouettes working with um, A6, A6, whatever you want to call it and whoever you want to call them and all that kind of malarkey. Um, this is the first Jordan brand collaboration for a European outlet. So I, initially when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I'm sold. And everybody knows that I've got an affinity for the Jordan 6. Sorry, it's Jordan 7. What am I talking about? Affinity for the Jordan 7. Um, and they, it, it has murmurings of the Bordeaux. And that's my one of my favourite silhouettes or my favourite colourways on a trainer ever. Hence why I've got it on the Air Trainer, um, which came out about four or five years ago in a Bordeaux colourway. And then the Jordan 7 Bordeaux in two different years. I think I've got it in the last reiteration when it came out. And then the year, I think it was 2011. But anyway, let me get, get into all of that. You don't need to know about all of that, shh, isn't it? Anyway, so... Brown is the colorway. So let me just give you that HD because you know what I, you know how I do. Camera doesn't want to play ball. I've got to get a new camera. So if anybody is a photography person or knows about filming and all them kind of thing there, and you can recommend a camera that I can do all of this rain there, mama, 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 mask stuff on. Um, just holler in the comments. So anyway, um. The paintwork is, like the quality of the trainer is spot on. There are the issues with glue and the reason why there are issues with glue is that this material here is like a new buck. Now, once you put a solvent base or a solvent glue onto a new buck trainer, which isn't black, you will get some leakage, but it is very careful. So let me just see if I can get in even closer. Yeah, it's all Robocop around here. You can probably just make out. Some of it is a bit of paint, but some of it is the actual um, glue. So they've done well with it. Better than they could have, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, flicking around to the back portion of the trainer. The, the material on the... The material is mad. It's kind of like the same material that you have got on the Travis Scott ones. Um, but the material is like that dense kind of suede it's nice it moves with your finger patterns and all them kind of thing there flicking around to the back you've got the actual um team patter pull strap very useful and then the jordan 23 and then you've got the patter on the inside of the trainer um then boom skin you've got the the traditional jordan 7 um sole mazza and then you've got the lace tips which they've used the lace tips, so they've used the same format in that they use on the 2011 pair of board. I think it's 2011, 2011 pair of Bordeaux, and they're giving you the, the 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 metal lace tips, which always goes down well in my view. Anyway, um, I haven't even unlaced them. I was thinking, what's happening inside? Inside, there isn't much to see actually. I'm just having a look as I talk. I thought they might have had a patter insole and all that kind of stuff, but they don't. Um, it's just a red insole but the trainer is mad and then the jump man hang tag you can see the actual jordan man is coming out of the square you see me 
I thought it looked odd and I couldn't work it out until I had it in hand. Um, but these are, I'm not going to say they're a must, but they are, if you like patter, a training you need to get. Um, if you are a Jordan head that likes patter, obviously, Jesus, they are a must have. They will release again on the sneakers app. So there'll be more chance or better chance for people to get them. So don't worry about that. If you missed them the first time round, Pata London, I believe, didn't have that many pairs. It's one of those things, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, but let me know your thoughts on them. Like, for me, the materials are good, um, better than the, the, the 2011 Bordeaux. So, sorry, 2000 and, is it nine, 2017 Bordeaux, I think it was. Um, but like, I, I, just, I, I think the trainer, as a collector, is a mad thing you have to have it um the materials could have been better on the toe box not the toe box sorry this part here because this if you put them on wrong you tend to get like it tends to rip but anyway let me know your thoughts let me know what you're thinking let me know if you like them if you dislike them if you don't like the color if you like the color it's rain the mama, mama, mama. mask signing out <laughs>